welcome to Super Make Something, the show where I make something cool and show you how to make it too. Today, we're making this USB DDR dance pad using an Arduino microcontroller. Let's get started. What is a USB dance pad? Dance Dance Revolution is an arcade dancing game where a player must step on appropriate arrows as they flash across the screen in time with Japanese techno music. Well, I still love to play Dance Dance Revolution, or DDR, whenever I happen to be in a place that has one of these arcade machines, the majority of arcades in the United States have sadly slowly closed over the last decade and a half. As a result, the only way to consistently get an authentic dancing arcade experience is with a metal dance pad and programs like Step Mania, a Dance Dance Revolution emulator for home computers. Unfortunately, metal dance pads are expensive, costing $300 or more, and often lacking interfaces and drivers needed to connect them to modern PCs. To overcome these problems, I decided to build my own USB dance pad with an Arduino microcontroller. The dance pad... Hi, I'm Ryan, and today I'm going to show you how to make a miniature vending machine. Just like a traditional vending machine, the possibilities are endless. You can do candy, toiletries, Game Boy games, tea and or coffee, miscellaneous, but it functions just like a regular one. Insert a coin, dispense a product, and the cycle repeats. Here's our 3D model, just to start. Construction is really basic, and this one's held together with screws so we can easily access, get to the quarters, or just refill the machine. Okay, to start building this, we're gonna glue two pieces together. This is the divider that's at the bottom. It puts where the screw drops or whatever, and the quarters go, so they don't get mixed. We don't want that. Then we'll take the back piece, mark the front, and mark our hole locations for the servos, and drill them, then mount all the servos. These, this is just number six nuts and bolts to hold the servos, and they're parallax continuous rotation servos. Then, put the Arduino where it's supposed to go, mark those holes, drill them, and mount the Arduino. On, that's the bottom of the vending machine. Put some felt pads, and we'll use a couple number six bolts 